What up, Doc? Park your cars and hurry inside, because we're about to tell you two of the most intense high school stories we've seen yet. I was wicked scared because I thought I was going to get in wicked big trouble. I don't know what's going to happen to me. I'm about to piss in my pants. We're kicking things off with a wet and wild junior-senior turf war that's anything but pretty. I swear, I just, I lost it. We just started bitching and screaming and yelling at them. And later, a group of cyber-savvy honor students freak out when they're accused of copying answers off the internet. It seems no different to me than going to any individual website and taking anything off. So get comfy, because you're in for a crazy ride on high school stories, scandals, pranks, and controversy. My school is so boring. When is something interesting gonna happen? Gonna happen? Someone's gotta shake this place Someone's up. Someone's gotta shake this place up. Something to talk about. There's something to talk about. Something cool. Something cool. High school stories. Scandals, pranks, and controversy. If it's true that when you cheat, you only cheat yourself, you gotta pity the students of one Arizona class who were accused of cheating all at once. It's a controversy that shook their school. Who got hurt? Watch and see. Watuki, Arizona, land of Cactus and Big Sky, and Mountain Point High School. This high school has all the typicals, jocks, geeks, punks, plus a huge number of honor students. There are about uh, 120 honor students in our class. All the kids in the honors classes hang out together. One of these honor students is Sunil. With a 4.0 GPA, he knows he's smart and he's not shy in admitting it. Everyone knew I was smart. Things came to me easily, so I would just ace the test or whatever. People would be like, did you study this? I'd be like, no. The summer before sophomore year at Mountain Point, Sunil put his brains to good use and created a website just for fun. I was really bored. I was like, yeah, I guess I'll just make a website. I picked the name Hippos and Rhinos. It was just for people's entertainment. It started out like a personal website. It had a bunch of little stories, funny pictures, funny quotes, things like that. When school started, the crew figured out that their site had untapped potential for more than just laughs, like homework assignments. The assignment that everybody had been dreading was a fairly large study guide for A Tale of Two Cities. One kid got online, and they were asking about if we could get a study group together to go do these worksheets, because the amount of work that they gave us was completely unfair. So we just decided it'd be easy to do it online. Soon, word of the website got around, and more and more study guides were put online. I passed out a flyer to everyone in my history class. It said, like, if you want help on your history study guide review, you know, just go to this website. The more people had found out about it just through, like, word of mouth. And the next Monday, go to school, everyone in the hallway is like, oh, you've got such an awesome site. Thanks for all the help. That's when I started really making friends. And then we started getting these vocab tests where we'd have to write down the definitions and use them in sentences and things like that. So someone started posting that stuff on the web. It seems no different to me than going to any individual website and taking anything off. Like if you're going to dictionary.com and just copying and pasting, it just seemed that somebody had been nice enough to do all that for you. There was a point where I was kind of like, I don't know if this is wrong, really. I don't really think I'm doing anything wrong. I didn't supply any answers. I didn't copy any answers. I just hosted it. I don't think I'm going to get in trouble for it, you know? If I wrote, you know, all the state capitals on my arm and wore a long sleeve shirt, you know, that'd be cheating. But if it's outside of school that you could help other people with, I don't really consider that cheating at all. For a couple of weeks, the honor students logged on and shared answers until a vocab quiz tested the limits of their new system. There were 65 words on the test. You know, they're pretty tough words, like the things you don't really know. We were supposed to first write down all the definitions to them on a piece of paper. There was a word, it was sagacity. Fifteen people in our class took the definition that was on my website. But the definition of the website was like the degree of being sagacious instead of the degree of being whatever sagacious means. Fifteen students copied the same definition and fifteen students made the same mistake. Mountain Point teachers had heard the rumors about the website, but now they were compelled to investigate it. Uh, apparently teachers had discovered the website and were not too pleased about it. They go sit in sixth period. One of my friends comes in. He looks like he's about to cry. I look at him and I want to cry too because I've never seen him have such a face. And I was like, what's going on? He's like, they found the site. I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, they're, they're printing out everything, so you've got to delete the site right now. So I go and delete everything from my website. And like, I, at this time, I was really confused. Also, I was kind of scared because like, I don't know what's going to happen to me. I'm about to piss in my pants. But it was too late. The teachers already had all the evidence they needed. When we walked into English class, 
there's a quote on the blackboard and it says, oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Everyone's test was marked zero. It was just silent in the room. Everyone was scared out of their mind. You could tell what we were going to be discussing that day instead of Charles Dickens. And our teacher, she just chastised us. She was just like, posting all those answers. What, did you think you wouldn't get caught because you're honors kids? We're all just kind of sitting there staring at her, you know, not knowing what to say, like, if we should defend ourselves or not. We were also handed a questionnaire and it said, what was your involvement with the website? First question was, how would you rate your involvement with the site? You're a blatant cheater, or you knew about the site and you let cheating happen. And then the next question was, who else was involved? You know, who else can you name? It seemed like a real, real weird way of dealing with the problem. The school used the survey to decide who to punish. If the students admitted to visiting the site, the school labeled them as cheaters. I'm just answering honestly, and then the next thing I know, it's being turned around and shoved in my face. This piece of paper was their whole case. They just label us as cheaters. It came to whether or not a kid just felt like circling a certain letter as to whether or not they got punished. The assistant principal started calling people down. It was like a game. Who's going to get called out next? They said that I disrupted the flow of the school. Slapped on the table was 30 hours of community service. 16 hours. 24. 12 hours of community service. I thought it was pretty ridiculous. You took study guide answers, you know, go sponge bath old folks or something. I didn't like working off 30 hours. That's not fun. I didn't think I was going to get a tougher punch than anyone else. I didn't really use my own site. It led many of us to being barred from National Honor Society. I was a straight A student. I was in the top 5% of my class. My application got denied. Parents were upset at the severity of the punishment and wanted the school to reconsider the penalties imposed. I was really pissed off. I was going to go down the next morning and go talk to the principal to get to the bottom of it. But the school held out and refused to lessen the punishment. We had to turn in a mandatory internet reference saying that we wouldn't abuse the internet. The teachers, they told us that there'd be no more out-of-class work because we all couldn't be trusted. They blocked uh, the website from all school computers. When all was said and done, many of Sunil's classmates walked without honors at graduation. I'd like to introduce Sunil Gopal. But two years later, the webmaster had the last laugh. I had trouble writing a speech, so I got one off the internet. <laughs> Looking back, it doesn't seem right, but I guess when you do something wrong, you face some sort of consequence. I think it was wrong for the people that are just playing the copying, but for me, I didn't think it was wrong. I got punished for it, but I wish I didn't.